Todd, you've just announced your retirement. You'll be stepping away from the club. How did that decision come about? Well, it's, it's sort of, uh, I've been here a long time, Ben. I've uh, been back for nine years. Um, a lot of water's gone under the bridge. Um, I just think in, for my life right now, I need a bit of a, a, bit of a change up, a new, uh, new direction, a new challenge. So, you know, I think the timing for me is right. You know, I was probably hoping like everyone this year was going to be a better year, and, uh, but it wasn't to be. So I just think, you know, uh, for me, my family, it's time for me to you know, look at some other challenges. I bought a farm, would you believe? Uh, so I've got a farm which I'm taking over the middle of next month. And I'm going to spend uh, at least 12 months um, sitting on the farm trying to uh, milk the cows and uh, ride the tractor and get used to what farming life might be like. Have you got any experience out on the farm before? No, none whatsoever. So uh, YouTube <laughs> is getting a bit of a hiding at the moment and Google is what I'm Googling how to do everything. You've been in footy for a long time. Are you looking forward to having a break? I am. You know, as I said, it's been 34 years in the AFL system in one way or another. As a player, as a coach, an administrator, look, I've enjoyed absolutely every minute of it, but it does consume you. Um, so I'm just looking forward to seeing what else is out there, really. I'm um, taking 12 months to stop and smell the roses. Hopefully, uh, obviously, continue to watch the development of the Demons and getting back to playing finals footy and hopefully challenging for a premiership, which I uh, honestly believe they're very capable of doing. So it's going to be looking from afar, um, but just seeing what other challenges may unfold in that period of time. You feel like after 34 years, sometimes you become institutionalised. Um, so it's going to be nice just to have a little break and, and see what else is out there. You played 233 games for the club. How big a part has Melbourne been in your life? Well, it's been huge. Um, you know, from the age of uh, you know 20 when I first came here uh, to the age of 53, which I am now. So it's been a long journey. Obviously, I've uh, been very lucky to have some great mentors uh, through that period of time and met some great people through the footy club. And no doubt, you know, the place has really shaped me into the person that I am today. A lot of the values and behaviours that has been indoctrinated into me over a period of time has made me uh, who I am today. So I'm very grateful to the club for the opportunity to be part of it. You even got a chance to be a caretaker coach for five games in 2011. Can you believe, I guess, how much you uh, contributed to this club? Well, it's early, you know, I had five games. It's, it seemed like uh, five years at the time, but um, it was a great opportunity to be, uh, you know, captain of the footy club, to play, you know, 233 games, to be captain, to win a best and fairest and be part of the Hall of Fame and you know all those type of things was great but you know obviously to coach the team for a short period of time was a great highlight again. Um, not that my record reflected that but it's only tough times but when Jimmy Stein said you know would you step in and help us out for that period of time once again I was more than happy to step in and give the club a bit of breathing space uh, to look for their new coach. And now of course your son Jack not only plays here but captains the club. How special is that for you? Well, it's amazing. It's hard to believe that when you have children that you think uh, one day your son will play AFL footy, but then to follow in your footsteps and to be captain of the club that you were captain of, uh, you know, the oldest footy club in the world, I think it's the first time it's ever happened uh, at the Melbourne Footy Club. Uh, it's certainly something that you reflect on and say, well, that's fantastic. You know? and I suppose when you take a step away from the footy, like the day-to-day -day running, it's something that I'll be able to perhaps reflect on more. But when you're caught up in the business day to day, it's just business and that's part of the, the process. But it's certainly something pretty special. And you leave the club after a really tough season. How confident are you that we can bounce straight back? No, I'm really confident. You know, um, I think the club's been built over a period of time now on really strong fundamentals. We've got really strong foundations. I've probably come up with a few, a few uh, cliches here, but really strong foundations. And, you know, we've taken a bit of a hit this year. Uh, there's been a whole number of reasons why we haven't performed to the level. Uh, I think the club has addressed those um, and putting in action plans to, uh, to rectify the things that have happened this year. So I'm really confident that Goody and uh, the team uh, will really respond strongly and we'll be right in the thick of it next year. Obviously you won't be involved in the club, but how much will you be a one-eyed Melbourne fan for years to come? Oh, well, it's, it's in my blood, you know. I've obviously, uh, it's been a big part of my life. My son's playing here, so... Uh, you know, there's only uh, one club for me and that's going to be watching the Demons and play and hopefully do really well and win that elusive premiership. I couldn't do it when I was playing. I was hoping that it might have happened in this nine year block that I've been back. But, um, you know, if it's next year or the year after, I'm certainly going to be one of the thousands that are going to be extremely happy and joyful around that great accomplishment. Well, Todd, thanks very much for your time and good luck for the next chapter of your career. Go on, you Ben. Thanks.